this is actually the midden that's coming out of the house. There's a house right above here, and this is where they're throwing their trash. And you can see all their periwinkles and whelks, sea mammal bone. There's a lot of whale bone, just not here. This is where I always look for artifacts as well. And like, actually this, this is pretty cool, because this is a saw and snap bayonet. And what's cool, that I really think is cool, is you don't usually find these in late prehistoric sites. You usually find them in ocean bay sites. And then the whaling cult, they're very secretive and they kept these in caves and you never would, they don't dispose of them in site context. So that's why I think there's a lot of whalers around here. There it is, there's a, um, this is a, probably the shoulder, shoulder, part of a shoulder blade of a whale. And this is what you hunted them with. When archaeologists talk about fauna, they're talking about bones. Uh, and there are archaeologists who study bones, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> but I have picked up a little along the way. And this is below that multi-roomed late prehistoric house where we found the whale ants. And you can see, um, this is, what, fauna is great because it tells you what people are eating uh, and what they were hunting and maybe even what time of year they were there. And right here I can see quite a few things like these are chitin, parts of chitin. Ohedix is the, is the Lutic name for them. And I've noticed in all these sites, there's a lot of these periwinkles, these little, and they're good because you can, them and chitons you can eat when there's no red tide. Um, a lot of this, these bones here, and I have some others here, these are cod bones. And I think that was one of the big activities out here was cod fishing. It's really good cod fishing around here. Look how much firecracked rock there is. And that's because they're doing a lot of um, banya or sauna here. This is a lot of, a lot of sweat bathing is going on. You can see it right away. It's all, oh, look at all this rock. We didn't see that at those older sites. So they were doing a lot of that. Oh, what's this? I think this is a, uh, it's either a sea, li sea lion uh, finger bone or a whale bone. I'm, I'm really bad at fauna. But what's cool about it is you can actually see where they're cutting it. There's little cut marks on it. You can see where they're, where they're butchering it. You can see the little cut marks. And there's my map, and that's the house that we were just standing in. See, so you had that flagging one, and we're going to shoot that in the transit. So, And you can see I even put on my map, minor erosion, exposed firecracked rock, sea mammal bone, shell, chitin, blue mussel, all those things that we were looking at earlier. Okay. It's on the map, too. This is the top of the, of the clavicle. This is the beginning of the, sh of the, you know, the shoulder bone. I think it would have been, I can never remember. I'm not a faunal person. In actual fact, we found a whale, a vertebrae, from a site that was 2,000 years ago, that the lance was still stuck in it. So it's kind of, that's what these are used for. <laughs>